Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. And this week's Tasty Tuesday recipe is cabbage and noodles. Or, as my ex-mother-in-law used to call it, halushki. Um, I learned how to make this oof, over 40 years ago. And it is very yummy and it is super easy to make. And it goes a long way, as you can see. That's a 9 by 13 so if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. This is by far one of the easiest recipes to make. It is incredibly filling. It's one of my absolute favorites. What you need is, okay, what you need is two sticks of butter, two medium onions, two small heads or one large head of green cabbage, we're going to dice this up to about uh, inch pieces, bite size. Um, a bag of noodles. Wide noodles are the best. This is what I have. I'm using that. Um, the original recipe actually called for 16 ounces. The Dollar Tree has um, 12 ounces. That's what I'm going to use. Um, garlic is optional. I like the taste of garlic. So I'm going to throw that in there too. Um, I'm going to put about two cloves in there and I'm going to mince it up nice and tiny. Bacon is optional. I love bacon. Yeah, I'm having bacon in mine. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley flakes, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up the onions, mince the garlic, and chop up the um, cabbage. And then we'll be cooking the onions until they get Okay, cold. in a very large frying pan, I'm going to melt a stick of butter. And I'm going to add um, the onions to it until they are translucent, which takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, after it's been cooking for maybe 6 minutes, I'm going to add the, um, the garlic. Okay, butter's all melted and onions are going in and this is both onions chopped up. And like I said, we're going to cook these until um, the onions are almost done, and then I'm going to put the garlic in. And this is over a medium heat, because I don't want the butter to burn. I absolutely cannot stand the taste of burnt butter. And believe me, I'm the type that would throw the whole thing out if it burned. And I've got noodles over here already cooked and set aside. Okay, it's been cooking for about five minutes so I'm going to add the garlic and then I'm going to cook this for about three more minutes. And since this is going to be going in the oven it is all going to cook all the way through. Okay, now that these are cooked, and I think you can see how translucent they are, I'm going to be adding the other stick of butter. Let that melt. And as soon as that melts, I'm going to add the um, chopped up cabbage. And to be honest with you, I did cheat. I had hubby cut it because it takes a lot of muscle. But there's, I think you can see the size of them. And this thing is going to be full. Because it's two heads of cabbage. Ooh, that's a lot. But the nice thing about it is it cooks down. 
So once you get this wilted, it's all going to fit together in a 9 by 13 pan. And this is going to cook um, for about eight minutes or so until it starts to wilt. And I'm going to add the spices right now. I don't need too much of the onion. And not too much of the garlic. And I'm going to hold off on the parsley until it's been cooking for a while. And we'll be back after this starts to shrink down a little bit. This meal is also um, known as halushki. And I learned this from my ex-mother-in-law. Um, she was... Well, her, her, she learned how to cook from her mother who was from the old country. And that woman could cook like you would not believe. I don't think she ever made anything that didn't taste good. Uh, if your cabbage isn't wilting the way you want it to, add a little water. It just helps to steam through. And it still has about five minutes to go. And while this cabbage is cooking down, I'm going to preheat the oven to 325 degrees and when this is all done it's going to cook for about 30 minutes. Okay there's the bacon bits or bacon. I didn't make it as crispy as I usually do so it didn't break up real real well but that's okay it'll soften up big time when it's in the oven. And I'm going to add some parsley to it now. And I love the way the um, parsley gives it the uh, color. And I'm going to add the noodles. And I'm going to get this all stirred together. And once I get it all stirred together, I'm going to put it in a 9 by 13 pan. Okay, everything's all mixed together and in the 9 by 13 pan. And I'm going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. If there's still some of the cabbage that needs to cook longer, I'll do it 40 minutes. Well, there it is after 30 minutes. Um, it looks pretty well done. There might be a couple of cabbage in there that isn't really, really soft, but... For all intents and purposes, it's done. Uh, I'm going to put this on a plate, and I can't wait to dive into this. I sincerely have not made this in over a year. So, yeah, this is actually a treat for me. Well, it's cooled down enough, I think. So I'm going to give it a little try. I'm going to try and get the cabbage, noodles, and some bacon. Oh, that is so good. Definitely comfort food. You can easily make this without the bacon. I'm just really partial to it. And if you don't want to use butter, you can use olive oil. So it could actually be um, a vegetarian meal. So, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And happy creating, everyone.